the emphasis of his trip. Security. The United States has long had an outsized commitment to Israel. But Biden's relationship with the Middle Eastern nation has been strained by his attempts to restart a 2015 deal with Iran that was meant to curb its nuclear activities. The U.S. and Israel are expected to announce a Jerusalem declaration committing both countries to use all elements of their national power against the Iranian nuclear threat, the Associated Press reported. But Biden will continue to make the case that diplomacy is the best way to reach what is a shared goal of ensuring that Iran never gets a nuclear weapon, according to Jake Sullivan, Biden's national security adviser. In addition, Biden continues to look for ways to expand defense cooperation in the region. Flying directly from Israel to Saudi Arabia on Friday, Biden hopes to advance Israel's desire to establish diplomatic relations with the kingdom which could help the Middle East countries unite against Iran. Israel has already formalized relations with United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Morocco, and Sudan. Our two countries working together can take us to the next generation of missile defense technologies, Sullivan said Wednesday. Washington backed another $1 billion in you. As funding to restock the Iron Dome after Israel's 11-day conflict last year with Hamas, the militant Islamic group that controls Gaza. Congress approved the funding despite complaints from progressive Democrats that American taxpayer money is being used to exacerbate Palestinian suffering and entrench Israel's occupation of Palestinian territory. Former Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett, who stepped down last month, has said the system could potentially be shared with Arab neighbors, opening up the possibility of Israel selling its top defense tech. The U.S. would benefit from the more stable Middle East, particularly at a time when so much is going on in the rest of the world. Biden had hoped to focus on the rising economic and military threat posed by China, which is becoming increasingly aggressive in the South China Sea.